Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 12th of April. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me, please see the link below. You can see my testimonials. Or if you would like to venture beyond your zodiac sign and embrace more serious astrology, you can do so in a very affordable way by checking out my personal horoscope reports and get a 12-month forecast and a character analysis for 30% off. Please see the link beneath the video too. Hello Virgo and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 12th of April which begins with that stunning new moon in the sign of Aries. Now Aries is the first sign of the zodiac so when the sun and the moon combine we're getting extra energy. The sun of course is all about drive, the moon is about our emotions and for you this part of your situation is to do with transformations. So it can be around some parts of your situation making way for newer, fresher, more energizing and more vibrant possibilities. But it will be where you have been very invested. So it could be around a close relationship. It could be around a business interest. It may be around a monetary matter because the eighth house is about longer term resources. But new moons, of course, about new beginnings. So if you set your intentions to improve these areas, whether it is intimacy, whether it is your financial picture, whether it is your earning capability, this is a fine time to do that. But also Jupiter, the planet of joy and, and expansion, is forging a brilliant angle to this new moon. And Jupiter's in the sixth house, which is a very Virgoan part of your situation. It's about being very realistic, but it's also about taking care of details. Well, Jupiter is not so concerned with those things, but what it does bring is a sense of enthusiasm. So the sun's angle to Jupiter all through this week suggests that by taking a can-do attitude and really putting that into action, you can achieve some results. So what's not to like? Well, it is just that Pluto, the planet of truth and transformation, is clashing with that uh, new moon. So over the next month, there is the potential for some politics. So if you're in a romantic tie, particularly, or perhaps a business alliance, where there is politics or control or jealousy or possessive kind of strands flowing around, I think that Jupiter particularly can push you to embrace a freer part of your nature. So that's going to be very interesting. But Mars is right at the top of your situation, forging an excellent angle with Jupiter all this week too. So if ever there was a time to aim high, to shoot for the stars, this is it. Because your natural ability to uh, make sure that the detail of situations are all put together in a very systematic way, linked to a more confident vibe that comes from Mars in Gemini, is a great time for you to try to reach out and influence someone in a position of influence. Now also on Wednesday, Venus, the planet of love and affection, moves into your sister Earth sign of Taurus. This asks you to be more searching around the truth of your relationships. But if you're single, it could be someone who comes from a different background to you who really does make your pulse race in the weeks to come. And as the week draws to a close, with your ruler Mercury forging a very precise and exacting angle to Saturn, if you do really need to make sure that you've got everything calibrated and ordered in just the way you need, particularly around a business proposal, if you're trying to get some funding for some kind of new venture, you're going to be very precise. But equally, Mercury in this angle with uh, Saturn can be a great time to talk to a financial advisor, get a professional view of your financial situation and see where some tweaks may give you some better returns or improved dividends on any investments or shares you may have.